Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the summer So, despite what many people, especially on the right wing, would like to have us believe, it does not appear that Muslims or Islamic fundamentalism or just any, any sort of so-called, you know, extremism from the Islamic Arab sect has anything to do really with America's, you know, threats at all. In fact, a recent, a recent statistic has actually proven that white supremacy and Christian fundamentalism seems to actually be more of a threat to American security than Islamic fundamentalism. The New York Times reported back in June that since September 11, 2001, almost twice as many people have died at the hands of white supremacy and other non-Muslim extremists than by radical Muslims. Using the data that was compiled by New America, a Washington research center, a study found that 48 people have been killed by extremists who are not Muslim, including the mass killings in Charleston, compared to the 26 by self-proclaimed jihadists. This does not factor in the recent shooting at Umqua Community College or any, or any other less publicized incidents like the Las Vegas couple who mur murdered two police officers and left a swastika on one of the bodies. These stats reveal, though, a very mass difference between public perception and the number of actual cases in which Muslim extremists have claimed American lives. So it really leaves this whole thing open to that whole debate about how, you know, people claim, oh, the Muslim extremists, that ISIS or, 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 or have penetrated America and that they're going to, you know, try to bring down America. They're a threat to America. We've got to defeat these horrible Muslims, we got to defeat these Arabs. And it turns out, everything that I have previously said in other videos about how white supremacy and evangelical Christianity are more of a threat to America than Muslims or Arabs, turns out I wasn't completely full of BS. It's just hard not to look smug at this point. It just is really interesting to see, <laughs> to actually find a study that shows... <laughs> uh, just wonderful to find, sh find shit that just basically confirms everything that I say. And it's, it, like I've said before, I don't like, I really don't care to, like, I don't get up in the morning trying to be a smartass. I don't try to get up trying to be a smug jerk. I really, in fact, want something to challenge me <laughs> and pr and even find something that on the, I want to actually wake up one day, be on, get on the internet, and find something that actually disproved something that I've said previously that I can go back and retract my arguments about. But when I find something that just completely, just, you know, that just completely confirms what I've said in, for, not only in just previous videos that I've been saying for years, it just makes me feel so good. And it really is hard not to look like a smug jackass. Because <laughs> here people are, especially in my own family, and people that, and people that I've, dealt with for so long on when it comes to social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all these different people, the arguments that I've had with people, and all of them arguing that Muslims were the biggest threat to America, <laughs> that we've kind of just destroyed them all, blah, 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 because they are a horrible, evil threat. And I keep telling them, actually, no, it's white people. <laughs> and what do you know? <laughs> I just got it. I'm sorry. It just, it's too damn funny. It ha it makes me, it, it makes me feel, it actually makes me feel like I've actually done my homework and <laughs> I'm actually intelligent for once. Because, you know, when, again, I'm, I don't claim to be the smartest 
you know, brightest person on earth. I'm not Einstein. But at the same time, you know, I do know what I'm talking about in most instances. And this right here just has proved my point. And yes, I will be providing these articles in the description, by the way, so you can make whatever arguments you want, but it's kind of hard to argue facts. So, yes, it's very interesting to me <laughs> that all these people for so long saying that you know, the biggest threat coming to America is from radical Islam. No, it isn't. Radical Islam is a threat to an Arab country. It is a threat to the Middle East, and not that big of, of one as, you know, the numbers want to point out, you know, as people want to point out, basically. It's one of those things, though, that it's more of a threat to the Arab world than it is America. In fact, America does not have to worry about that much of a threat from radical Islam inside of America. The only time that they have to worry about it is when America, you know, goes waging imperialist wars over in the Middle East. That's the only time they gotta really worry about it. But here at home, not so much. Now people can argue the Chattanooga shooting, but that or the Fort Hood shooting, but that really doesn't have much leeway. Especially when you consider that again, most of the shootings that we've seen in the last few years have come at the hands of, of white individuals, and typically in white individuals who have suprem racial supremacy and Christian uh, fundamentalist views. Um, Dylan Roof, John Russell Hauser, um, the dude that shot up the Sikh temple a couple of years ago in uh, Wisconsin. You know, these are just three primary examples of, you know, white Christian terrorism being, being more of a threat to the United States than a Muslim extremist. And again, three white Christian extremists compared to one radical Islamic Arab descend, uh, descent person. That, 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 that alone, just on that statistic, speaks volumes, folks. And the fact that we actually have 48 uh, killings, what I believe it was, wasn't it? Yeah, 48 people that were killed by deadly right-wing attacks from white supremacists compared to only 26 individuals that have been killed by Islamic fundamentalism, that speaks, a vol that speaks quite a volume. Twice as many people have been killed at the hands of white supremacy, neo-Nazism, and fascism itself have been killed by right-wing extremists and by radical fundamentalists of the Christian denomination than they have been by radical Islam. And I think that that is just absolutely, that is just an absolutely hilarious, well, I hate to say in this case hilarious statistic because people did die and it's sad, but it is quite hilarious to basically just prove the entire right wing wrong. And of course, the right wing is also going to be the first people that are going to come out and say, oh, well, you know, you know, well, this is just a, a biased source. This is, and that can't be true. You know, blah, it, it, it's the damn leftists. It's, it's the Arabs. It's blob. It's fuck off. Because you have, be, be, because I'm going to expect the right wing to try to find a way to just, you know, twist things around and try to distance themselves from all these people saying, well, that's not true, right, you know, they're not true, you know, right wing people, they're not true conservatives, they're not true blah blah blah. It's like, no one even says either that they're conservative. Ultra conservative, yes. Ultra nationalist, yes. Fascist, yes. Actual conservatism, uh, it, it, that can be debated, but it is definitely right wing, and so to, so there's really no way that the right wing can get themselves out of this. There, there's no way they can that they can try to deny it all they want to, but if you actually want to be a realist and actually 
understand what is going on, then you have to really acknowledge the fact that, yeah, we are wrong. That the that Muslims are not the biggest threat to you. That they're not the biggest threat to America. And that Arabs are not the biggest threat to you or the biggest threat to America. But what is the biggest threat to America, not surprisingly, is white supremacy and Christian fundamentalism. And I've been saying this for years now, pretty much since I have started on YouTube and it very adamantly been pretty pretty firm on my belief that right-wing Christianity and right-wing political extremism has always been the biggest threat and probably you know will be for a while and that in no way has well not even no way but it, it, that uh, it, radical Islam and people of Arab descent or even our Arab are not the biggest threat to you but what we should be again what we should be focusing on is definitely the fact that there are racial supremacy groups out there and there are more violent attacks and killings at the hands of uh, white supremacy, black supremacy, and even Latin supremacy, but primarily at the hands of these racial supremacy groups, much like Stormfront and other individuals. There are more attacks, in fact, not even has to be from an organization, because most of them are pussy organizations in general. Most of it actually comes from lone gunmen, like uh, white supremacist lone gunmen, like John Russell Hauser, Dylan Roof, and the dude that shot up the Sikh temple. These are the bigger threats to America. So, to basically try and say now that Islam is somehow this evil religion that seeks to wipe the American people off the map, those people can now go stuff it. Because now, I'm going to be using this fucking example to my advantage. So, trying to come up with something to debunk me, but right now, I'm going to be the smug jackass that I, that for once I can get to be. Thank you. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace, bitches.